Hey y'all, there was a female monarch flying around out in my garden laying eggs on my little bit of milkweed I have out there. And so I just held open the opening to the enclosure and she flew right in and she's laying eggs all over my milkweed in here. This is fabulous. Hey y'all, it's Saturday morning and we're headed to the Nectary. I've got some pentas and some fire spike that I'm gonna be delivering today. It's so exciting, it's so exciting. I'm loving growing plants and selling them. So we just pulled into the Nectary and I uh, just wanna have a little quick chat before I go in and look. So there are several um, native host plants that I do not have in my garden that I want to add to bring in more butterflies. And so what I'm looking for today are the partridge pea, the sensitive pea, um, fog fruit, and water hyssop. Now, I do have fog fruit and water hyssop, but it's out in my front yard. And I want some in my backyard so that I can bring those butterflies in. And um, if I find these plants, then I'll show them to you and I will explain to you who they're going to bring to my garden. While I'm here at the nectary, I'm going to go and check and see how my little garden's doing. Look, there it is. And look, the little swamp milkweeds are growing. Isn't that cute? And look at how happy the brown-eyed Susans are. Yay, and the um, sage that I dug up and moved. Look, it's all doing just fine. Hey y'all, so after the nectary, we came up to um, Green Isle gardens and I'm finding a lot more of the host plants that I was looking for so when we get back home I'll show them all to you but there's their big greenhouse I would just so love to just walk through there I want a greenhouse like that one day mm -hmm. This is what I have in my cart so far. You guys, you know you love your plants when you have a pickup truck and you shop and you still stuff all the plants in the back seat of the car or truck. Hey y'all, there is a monarch in there fluttering around. Uh, I'm going to go in and catch with my two little hands and let it fly free in my garden. My little balloon milkweed that's sitting out here had some eggs delivered. So I think I'm gonna um, take all the leaves off that have the eggs and take them in until they hatch. And then when they get a little bit bigger, I'll move them out into the enclosure. I think this is the only one of these guys left. I think the other two went off and pupated somewhere already. I would love to figure out where the other two guys went to Jay hang but 
they're very good at finding a hiding space. And they probably could be right in front of my eyes and I don't see them. But I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll find one. And hopefully one day I'll find them as butterflies. Hey y'all, good morning. It is a most beautiful day for gardening. It's Sunday morning. It is like officially spring break. I have a whole week of this, except there's some weird weather coming, of course, but we're, we're just not going to think about that. So, I don't know. Just welcome to the day. Let's see what I end up doing. I have no plans. Full-on inspiration day. So first thing right now, I'm out here just um, kind of pulling everything out of my greenhouse, seeing what's there, how everybody's growing. I've moved some more pentas out on the shelf to get sunlight, um, making space, maybe going to plant some new seeds or bring some seedlings out and put them in. It's so fun. I, I absolutely, absolutely love just growing things. And then that I can grow things and have a place to send them because I can't fit them all in my garden. That's the most fabulous thing. And then I'm also going to, um, I've got some like these giant metal staple things. See how my, um, my, what do you call this stuff? Tarp floor stuff? See how it's like always blowing over? So I've got some metal staple things to staple it down. I'm going to give it a good leaf blowing. I've got the cart. Remember the cart I showed you? Um, this thing has proven to be fabulous. These are all the plants that I brought home yesterday. I'll go through those in a little bit and show you what's what and who's who and what they're for. And so just a lot of little fun organizing, cleaning up like that right there, projects that need to be done. And look at all these pentas that I just brought out of the greenhouse. They'll be growing in somebody's backyard someday. That is just so incredible to think about. I, I love it. And also remember how I dug out these two areas for my swamp milkweed well I have so many like wetland loving plants that I think I'm gonna take the rest of this planting section and dig it out also and just make it a whole wetlands garden which means I get to move all these things that are growing here y'all know how much I love moving plants around and then I can take these things and fill in to other areas that maybe you know have some spaces to fill in and then I need to get rid of all these weeds growing up in my walkway always the more garden spaces you have that are jam-packed the less weeding you have to do I will say that Y'all, I was standing here wanting to tell you about something else I just cannot even remember. Like, I literally just looked at something and thought, oh yeah, I want to show them that. And it's gone. It's gone. Okay, well maybe I'll remember later. See the monarch over there? Enjoying my potted pentas. I've got my hose lane on the ground watering system going over there there was just a um spice bush swallowtail i came running down to catch it um of course it flew away as soon as i got here but it'll be back and i really you know standing at this end do you see how how like this section is all like salvias and pentas and cosmos and there will be some zinnias coming up and then the same with down there. Well, I think having a little wetland in the middle that would be something completely different will just add more variety to my garden. I'm so excited about the idea that I'm not excited about digging all of that out. But I don't have to do it all in one day. You know, I can do a little here and a little there. I ordered my liner. It'll be here, uh, I think, tomorrow. So... You know, I have all week. It'll be a week-long project. There's a little pollinator enjoying some water. I 
Oh, and another thing I want to do today is all of my pots out here, like I have some pots with blue milkweed and other things, I'm going to put some like Cosmos and Zinnia seeds in around them so they'll grow up around them and, you know, just have more color. Can you have too many flowers? No, never. So that'll be fun too. And then I'll water them all in and hopefully by the end of the week I'll have some seedlings going. Oh, and I've got this little project going too. So these are little Mexican sunflower seedlings I started. And this is a bag of Liatris bulbs that I ordered thanks to a friend that got me onto this. They sent me a hundred bulbs for like 30 bucks. It's incredible. Liatris. It's Liatris spicata. So I'm going to put these and the Mexican sunflowers like kind of in the back of this area well not all 100 but a lot of them because they do get taller so I like to put the taller things towards the back I found these two packs of cosmos seeds so I'm gonna go and sprinkle them around in every pot that I have around me where there's space so they can fill in there was a little golf fritillary can you see it I said I haven't seen a golf fritillary in so long, and look, oh, it just flew over there. So, y'all, I've got this really cool pot that I found at the clearance at the TJ Maxx, which y'all love going to TJ Maxx and just looking, especially their clearance. You never know what awesome thing you can find for the garden. So I have this quirky stem passion vine growing in a pot right here. And the super cool thing about it is it's growing out the bottom too. So I've been, I've had it set here in this really pretty, um, container that I got at a thrift store but as you can see it does not fit so I'm going to swap this out and put that new one down there that this will fit perfectly in and then these coming out the bottom can grow up and around the side. See that's going to be so cool when that grows in more and it's the perfect fit. Yeah, look, the little golf fritillary is back. All right, so I've got the walkway all weed free. It is so fun walking through here when it is loose dirt. I love being in dirt and my bare feet. It is one of the best things. So all of this over here, I'm going to start moving out for my new wetland space. And I think one place I can find more space is in this garden bed. And I can just roll this border out a little bit and put a whole nother row of pentas in there that are currently in the other space. Ray Ray, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey y'all, a couple things. So I was just in editing this video that's going up tonight and um, obviously it's not a one topic video because I'm just not a one topic kind of person. My why for starting this is a lot connected to freedom and flexibility and that's what I need my channel to be. So it's going to continue to be a crazy vlog style, grab and go, whatever I'm doing. It's butterfly gardening inspirations plans 
are not inspired. Plans are thought out and organized. Inspirations are spur of the moment. Let's go and do it. Second thing, you know that bucket of plants I kept saying, oh yeah, I'll, I'll unpack it later. And when we were at the uh, <laughs> garden center, I said, oh, I'll tell you what all I bought later. Well, that didn't happen, did it? No. So you have to come back on Thursday's video because that's when that'll happen. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.